I'm not going to present you with an overly optimistic picture. We are doing well in many ways, but we need to be grounded in reality. Your government is acutely aware that before the creation of the new Fiji, we must first deal with the big challenges and problems such as managing the national debt, restoring basic services, and repairing damaged infrastructure. It is only right to report on our performance in this critical first period of governance. How do we rate in meeting our targets or our promises? What other achievements can we put on our scoreboard? Before I answer, I wish to make an announcement and pay a special tribute. You, the people of Fiji, have played a very real part in this initial push by the coalition government to set Fiji on a course for a great revival. I say that because you have gladly joined with us to give our country fresh confidence and hope for our future. Together, we are breaking down the walls that have separated us, separated our communities in the past. From this will emerge a new spirit and energy to make our nationhood complete. Your eager acceptance of the freedom that came with the appointment of the coalition government is another milestone. It will be a strong pillar of our democracy. So I thank you for your achievement in these first 100 days. You helped to inspire us. You let us know that we could rely on your support for the momentous project of national renewal. I'm not going to present you with an overly optimistic picture. We are doing well in many ways, but we need to be grounded in reality. Your government is acutely aware that before the creation of the new Fiji, we must first deal with the big challenges and problems such as managing the national debt, restoring basic services, and repairing damaged infrastructure. 